Hi internet, this is my Honda Civic and in today's episode I'll show you that it will fit in your Honda. Um, we're doing a whale's penis because sea animals are great and you should always support your local aquarium. Um, yeah, nah, cold air intake. So, I've just spent the last two and a half million years trying to get this stock fucking pipe off. Um, it's like a four and a half or five and a half mil um, thingo on the hose clamp. It's a pain in the ass, I don't have anything that small. All my screwdrivers are too big, so I had to, you know, pull on it really hard and pry at it and break things. But it works. So what you do, that's usually connected to your throttle body. Um, that's plugged in. Um, that's plugged in, obviously, because it still is. Um, then that goes to your airbox. Don't need that anymore. Um, stock airbox. That goes there. Um, Bumble Brutus would come here. There's bolts like this. In there, in there. You take those out. They look like decent bolts. I'm going to keep them. Um, then the top of your air filter there is on top. You just undo this clips. The reason I'm doing colder intake is because I want to do it and um, black. <laughs> Sorry, Skyline Park. Um, so yeah, that's off. Cool. So that's off. Don't need that. Sorry, new car parts. Um, hammer. So yeah, oh, just... what do we do next? Well, if you would like to look at my penis. That's what I'd say if I was a whale. Look at my doodle! Yeah, whale's cock. And, um, don't need that. Your pod filter goes onto there like that. Obviously, you tighten that up. It's got a proper size um, clamp on it. Fuck yeah, fuck a nice cut. Um, over there in the mounting stuff, we'll get to that later. There's also another silicon hose joiner so you can join it to your throttle body. Um, so, there's this hose from the rocket cover, uh, comes with a new one, just from there to there, good to go. Um, this, uh, there's also another thingy in there, take that out, put it in, all good. Um, instructions, so if you have a look at the instructions, when you get EVA parts, you always look at the instructions for the enjoyment. Remove the stock intake manifold the EGR tube and the stock airflow sensor. The manifold's still on there, it was a the hose I took off. Install products and other kits step by step, fast and blah blah blah, installation uh, blah blah blah. You are ready for the ride, enjoy the extra performance. Now what's this, going to be like 25 and a half rear wheel kilowatts in my front wheel drive? I think so. Um, okay, so... Wing. Let's open the bay hood. Alright lads. What do we have here? Got some mounting bolts, mounting hardware. I don't really know where that's meant to go. So yeah, that goes on to that end of the dick. I mean penis. I'm not even doing that on purpose. It'll eventually go on. Again, eBay parts, bolt on. It's not even bolt on to itself. There you go. And uh, obviously you put that on first. I'm not rich, I don't own that. What the fuck are you doing? Um, what's that? That's a flathead. So you go to your cowl. You pick up a flathead screwdriver. Probably about this size. Not overkill at all. Put it between your legs. On a workbench. And you tighten the clamp. The clamp is now tight. Fucking sick. Fucking sick. Fucking sick. Fucking sick. Now you get this clamp. And we're just test fitting at the moment. Now people would say, oh, cold air intake is only going to suck in hot air. Well, look at that there. It's actually like a U-pipe, so it sucks in air, cold air anyway. So I've got to chop that off, make it a cold air intake. One step at a time though, people. So, that goes on there. It doesn't even fit properly. 
because of the fucking thing. Um, so that's on there, fucking mint. Um, usually you leave your screwdriver down there, so you just grab another overkill one. And that's on the cross member. Tighten this up here. Oh, yes. Alright, there you go. We're not done yet. Because, look at that wobble. You don't want that. Well, there you go. It's a bit lower. Um, I don't really know what else to do. There's this mounting bracket. I don't really know where that goes, so I guess it'll go something like that just to hold it in place. Cause that's not meant to fuck, like, what's that meant to fucking do? Fucking hell, can't. Sort your shit out eBay. So, yeah, I don't know what to do with that. Um, what else is there? There's this, I guess you bolt that up to something. Another hose. I'm going to assume that goes on here. Because it looks like a near perfect fit. Of which it is. That goes there. Or, if you get that back up, you can string it around like that. Obviously cut it to size. Don't be a pleb. But, I'm taking that off. Why? Don't ask me why I haven't thought of a reason yet. Other than it just makes sense. Also, Clamps, keep those. Attempt to keep, don't keep those. Probably edit shit out as well, because um, that's just what you do. Keep those. Can't get off. If anyone else is out of breath, they've got uh, icebox in the freezer. I regret putting that on now. Fuck me. Ugh. Also, I do this when the engine is um, not hot. Because, uh, yeah, me and Bruce just went for a drive. Because we're smart. Like that. Okay, cool. Clamps, too small. But, I'm gonna make it do. Just gonna make it do. Oh my god. Fucking sick. Spread it through there. Continue threading. Alright, probably want to cut it off there. Um, yep, no, yep, no, no, yep. Yep, no. Probably going to want that as well. Out of your uh, stabby bag. Um, usually you use cutters. Can't find mine. So, usually you just line that up. Um, probably cut about there. Use a dinner plate. I mean, chopping board. I mean, rocker cover. This is some tough hose. Or, the blunt knife. Now, I've cut through many a hose with this knife, not for drug reasons, before anyone from Newcastle thinks that's what I'm talking about. Um, probably going to need this later, I don't know. Um, who? Slap that onto the rocker cover. Like these. Ugh. Okay, and then get your... Um, what's he? What I can't think of the name right now and then realize that your clamp is too small. So you're gonna need bigger clamps. Oh yes, oh! <laughs> Did it come with bigger clamps? That's the question. No, it didn't. What sort of kit is this? Fuck you, eBay. You smell like <laughs> Balls. But uh, yeah, it fits over that, so. Um, I do have this clamp, but <laughs> it's a bit big. Now, airflow sensor sort of thing. Let's go find a snork, snork. Oh, yes. Then you hoof. Let's pull that out. Pull that out. And pull that out. Stock airflow sensor. I think that's what it is. I don't really fucking know. I'm really out of breath. Woo! Then somehow. Now do this when it's out of the car, not when it's in. Don't listen to me. I know nothing. Okay, so you just want to get that. Yep, sweet, that's out. Don't lose the sensor. Then 
Plug that bad boy back in there, like a seal. See this? Plug it in the right way, like that. And then you're pretty much good to go. Now this hose is actually connected to that hose, which is, thanks Honda. Um, you could probably get a hacksaw to cut this bit off, because that's nothing now. Um, I can't wait to edit this. It's going to be awful. Um, what's that? Where does that go? Where's my hoses? I'm out of breath. Alright, so cold air intake is on. Let's have a listen. Fucking sick. Whoops. <laughs> but yeah, she's on and it actually sounds a lot different to what I was expecting. I was expecting more of a induction noise. Ignore the metal on metal as well. But um It's fucking great! <laughs> Like, you just go down a gear, or two. Induction noises. <laughs> see you in the next video where we most likely fix this problem. If you could hear the metal on metal, that was my rear brakes. See you in the next one, you left. Fucking sick. 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 Fucking sick, 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 fucking sick.